Greetings and salutations. I am Crom the Pal, and this is Guild Wars 2 Mount Review. Basically, I'm going to take a quick look at what they've shown us in the demo today. No spoilers, just my opinion on what you can do with it, what you can't do with it, and whether it's a really good thing. So first off, to get into the demo, they give you a demo character slot. There's actually two of them, I believe. Uh, yep, there. And so you just create a character, and it will automatically plug you into a story at the beginning. Now I've already done that so I'm not giving any spoilers away here. Once you load in and complete that you will have your raptor mount. And oops. So here's my character. I'm in the uh, new area. I'm up nice and high away from everything so I'm not going to show any of the new monsters or anything. Uh, your mount skill is right here at the end of your skill bar. Uh, simple click and the mount will appear. Uh, based on what we've determined, every Raptor mount has an uh, HP of 7,312, regardless of what your HP is. The size of the Raptor will alter depending on the size of your character. So my Raptor is equal to my character size. If I have a Norn at max height, the Raptor would be substantially larger. It has no effect on your jumping distance or your ability to traverse uh, heights or distances with your raptors so they've done that fairly well. Uh, your raptor comes with one skill called tailspin and a dismount skill. The tailspin skill is fairly simple. It's used to get you into combat. If you take sufficient damage while on your raptor to drop below the 7,312 hit points it will automatically drop you out of combat. Taking a single hit while on your raptor will not drop you out of com out of the raptor and place you in combat. So a good thing about the raptor is you can bypass a lot of enemies very easily on the raptor. While it does have the dodge spar, it actually is a jump skill on your raptor. It a uh, horizontal jump rather than a vertical jump. I can give you a quick demonstration of that. So you can't jump up very well. You can, but not as well as you can jump over. So that's a nice thing. Um, all in all, I like the Raptor. I think they've done it very well to eliminate a lot of the clutter you're going to see in towns, for example. In order to interact with any NPC, you must dismount. It will auto dismount you if you attempt to interact with the bank, the merchant, the trading post or a, a NPC who's going to give you a quest. It's very useful in that regard. Um, it stands out very visibly when you see a group of players moving on the mounts. So that's going to encourage other people, hey, you know, where are they going? What are they doing? Should I join them? Um, you cannot get on your raptor, on your mount, while you are in combat. Your mount skill will be disabled while you're in combat, so you have to get out of combat to get on the mount. So it's not going to be something you can use to escape combat. You can avoid combat with it, however. Uh, a very nice thing about moving across the map quickly on a mount is that if you are doing an event, or if you're chasing a bounty, or if you're a world boss or whatever, and call for help, it's going to be more likely that people will arrive in time to lend assistance because they can traverse through the combination of your mount and gliding. Uh, you cannot glide while mounted, obviously. In order to use your glide skill, you must dismount first. If you jump off a cliff while on your mount, your mount will suffer, will fall, and will suffer the impact damage. Uh, from what it looks like, it doesn't appear that that damage will traverse to you. Um, I'm going to put that to the test right now. So, this will kill my mount, and we'll see if it does any damage to me as well. Nope, no damage to me. So it is a good way for you to, you know, get down from someplace high if you either don't have gliding or don't wish to use your gliding. Uh, obviously you can't use your mount while gliding, but once you hit the ground, boom. And away you go. So I think mounts all in all have been handled very nicely. This initial attack skill, it's very uh, balanced. It's not overpowered. It doesn't strike me as something that's going to be game-breaking in any way. 
And as you can see right there, my mount skill is now disabled. I don't like these sand lions. They've got uh, similar to the uh, rolling dust devils we fight in HOT. They uh, create blindness wherever they are. Okay, so now as soon as I'm out of combat, once the cripple goes away, I'll be able to get my mount back up. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any exploits really with the mount that I've seen. I was kind of concerned that you'd be able to get out of the map and such. They've taken uh, precautions that you can't escape the map with the mount. Um, a lot of the downside I was worried about of having you know too much clutter on screen has really been eliminated by the way it works in regards to combat. You aren't going to have people on your mounts obscuring your sight while you're in combat. They are going to be automatically kicked out of their mount once it takes a certain amount of damage. And, you know, chances are if they're on their mount, and as you can see, you can take damage. Uh, swiftness does not work on the mount. Your mount's speed, base speed, is fixed. And it appears to be slightly faster than a character traveling with swiftness. So one thing about mounts is they have made the swiftness skill or uh, buff basically obsolete. Uh, people are going to like that who have characters like Guardians that never really had much of a use for swiftness or never uh, had a, a good means of acquiring it. And uh, characters that were using the uh, signets that granted swiftness are going to be happy to see this because then they can that freeze them up on their skill bar. Uh, there are some interesting skills that you can get while mounted uh, that assist with uh, usually uh, events. There are ones to find a, a treasure chest. Nothing really combat related. There are definitely some nice new foes in this game with some very unique skills. Uh, you can suffer conditions while on your mount, and those conditions carry over when you dismount, so you have to be cautious about that. All in all, I'm very happy with my mount, with uh, what it's done in the game. Um, I think it's going to be a good addition. We don't yet know how it's going to impact uh, the original maps when they add it to that, which they haven't confirmed they're going to, but I'm fairly certain they will. So yeah, um, there's my very brief review of the mount. Looks very, very, very nice. Uh, I hope we see you all in game soon.